Okay, folks. Uh, last last clip for the night. Um, came out and uh, and started playing around. Got the other the other corner set up. Uh, we ended up going with um, when I put this side together. I told you in the, in the, in the first video that there were um, five SAE washers, then a, then a small me the metric washer that we opened up, then another small un uh, metric washer we opened up on top of the, the uh, spindle, and then five more SAEs. What we ended up doing is going with five on the bottom and four on the top, because when we put this side together, there was no way we were gonna get a fifth one in on the top here. So what we did is we went over here, took that one, that fifth one out of the top, and actually tightened it down, and there's no more ratcheting of the bearings um, everything's good. So five on the bottom, four on the top. Uh, we could actually go. We could actually go the other way. Uh, we, we could actually go five on the top, four on the bottom, and bring the front up a little bit. Um, two by four is uh, you know inch and inch and inch and three quarters. So uh, that that's 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 pretty good for ground clearance. Um, that uh, piece of wood. I've got another one here that uh, it'll it'll fit pretty snugly here snugly here starts you know fitting a little better here uh, this side is up a little it might just be because the ground but uh, pretty good it won't fit in the front um, it uh, th this this here is lower than all the rest of it so uh, like I said we can always we can always raise the front up if we have to um, I don't think that uh, that is too low to the ground. Let me stick you right on down in there. I don't think that's too low to the ground. Um, that's easily inch and a quarter or so. Uh, let's see, we fit here. Yeah, at least inch and a quarter. So uh, that's something we can we can dial up. Uh, being able to. Uh, adjust that with the washers on the front so we're happy this like i said this uh, this just barely spins but these tires don't have any air in them because i only had uh two valve cores and i needed them to get the front pressured up and uh you know set up right these uh, these little 450 tires man uh at 15 pounds so granted it's freezing cold out here they only measure 30 30 inches three quarter 30 and three quarter of an inch in circumference i'm used to everything on the front of my car being 33 34 inches um so that that, that tells you the difference between a, a 550 wide you know uh, 11 high 12 high tire whatever and this little 10 high that's not even a 10 and a half that's a 10 10 inch tall tire so uh you know that's what we got to deal with we'll probably go with uh, 450 Hoosiers on the front and 600s if they have them on the rear. I know they got 450, 710, 710 way too big for this four stroker. So we're set up right at 38 inches again. Um, just uh, just just wide enough to miss contacting this here. Uh, we put a uh, lock and collar, little set screw lock collar on, on the inside of each one of those and uh, put a piece of rubber hose over over the outside there just to make sure the wheel stayed tucked in so uh there's your there's your mock-up we can go ahead and we can go ahead and weld um we get this thing back up in the air uh tomorrow and uh we can go ahead and, and get the rear squared up measure everything get it crissy cross front to back square it up tack tack make sure they stay square all those those are self-aligning uh <clears throat> bearing cassettes we, we want to get it as straight up and down as we can get it but we don't have to remove any material uh, as it sits right now we can lower the rear because it's on the lower set of holes but we can't lift the rear anymore um, and to be completely honest if we had to take any of this material off you know there's only about a quarter inch between that that slot they put in there I don't like all that lightning hole stuff not back there not 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 with these but uh, yeah, we may do something about that. We may just weld some pieces over top of that and what have you. But uh, that's it. That's it. Um, we got the ground clearance thing squared away. Once we get this rear end welded on, uh, like I said, uh, we, we can we we'll go ahead and weld to get the porch welded on. Once we get the front end happy, porch welded on, 
Then we'll we'll start busting out some tubing and, and work us up something to mount the motor on. Seat, nut bar, bing, bing, bing. Uh, we're gonna put a tube across the back of here. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do like uh, what is on the uh, the old Emic here, a couple of stubs on each side, you know, with a with a torsion type tube in the middle. Um, or even if it's just a piece of tubing with with the clamps, we have a bunch of those clamps. Um, may as well put them to use, right? Uh, get people to talk and look and whatever. But uh, there you go. So uh, that's it for uh, that's it for Saturday. We're all done. Um, we're we're happy with what we've got. We pull this table back a little bit and see if we can get you a little better better ground eye look at that at the. Uh, ground clearance but um it looks pretty good um I'm, I'm happy with that so it's not too high off the ground and we can always like i said we can always uh we have room to lift it up without having any issues with the kingpin so that's it uh from rpm headquarters and ravishing race in roseville we're praying for y'all god bless you godspeed get to church tomorrow we'll talk to you